Playboy founder Hugh Hefner embodied the swinging 60s. Now comes a stunning claim that he was living a secret life as bisexual. Hugh Hefner lived the Playboy life to the hilt. He was the embodiment of his brand, surrounding himself with beautiful women. But was there another side to Hefner, a secret life? Was he in love with another man? In my opinion, this was sort of the love of Hef's life, the love of my father's life. Jennifer Saganor says she knows this because she lived at the Playboy Mansion from girlhood until she went to college. Her father was Hefner's personal physician. Jennifer is featured in the new A&E documentary, Secrets of Playboy, in which Dr. Mark Saganor is given the nickname Dr. Feelgood for allegedly giving out prescription pills at the Playboy Mansion. How in the world did it come to your father having a room, his own room, at the Playboy Mansion? My father was seeing Hef on a regular basis and going there all the time. It was just natural for him to have a room there because Hef needed him to check on him on a regular basis. She says Hefner and her father were in a relationship for nearly 40 years. I think it was more this long-term emotional, long-term spiritual connection. But there was where, a physical relationship as well. Sure, I mean, sure. The wives and the girlfriends would come and go, and this friendship remained constant. Saganor says it may seem strange for a youngster to live in the Playboy Mansion with its nonstop partying, but for her, it was a magical childhood. To me, it was just a sort of magical environment, exotic animals and, you know, gumballs everywhere and M&Ms. And once I was actually living there, you know, the butlers would make my lunch in the morning and Hef's limo would drop me off at school. But for Saganor, there was also a dark side to life at the mansion. She says she was introduced to drugs at an early age. I found my first joint in the game room at age 11. Jennifer yeah, Saganor yeah. says her father was at Hugh Hefner's side when he died in 2017 at age 91. Was your father the only person there? He was the only person with him when he passed. Dr. Saganor tells us accusations that he was a doctor feel good or ludicrous, adding he's always been very careful with appropriate prescriptions.